And this brings me to my next point, which is culture. Now, when I think about culture, it's it's also something that helps us determine if it's the right place for us. Is it is it something that resonates with you in terms of fit? And to get the obvious out of the way, culture isn't about colorful ping pong tables or splashy company retreats. Rather, it's about how things are done at a company. It's you know its values, uh, what its beliefs. And um, now back to that question of how do we assess if a low design mature company is still a good fit for you based on its culture? And I would say the most important thing or like the most important factor to really really consider and look for is their openness to change. And so the analogy I like to provide here is kind of like that of a ship. You know, the culture is very resistant. Maybe there's a lot of folks that you need to convince about the value of design. Sometimes it might feel like you're turning around this this huge cargo ship. It feels slow. It feels bureaucratic. And on the other hand, um, in a company that's a little bit more open, trying new things out, maybe a startup, uh, maybe fewer stakeholders to convince, uh, design maturity can be increased very quickly. Uh, as you can imagine, you know, turning a sailboat in a very different direction, uh, it's it's a lot faster. Um, so yeah, it's a combination of people. But it's also the combination of how 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 open people are to, to new ideas, uh, such as trying out some of the new things with design. And you know, if you're kind of really trying to get at that question of culture, like what are the right questions uh, to ask? And I would say, you know, in this case, it, it it doesn't really help to ask something generic like this, but instead it helps us to think a little bit more concrete. Uh, think like a researcher. And what that means is get specific, consider the questions that you might want to ask them about their team structure and organization. And think about this as a, almost like a, as if you're doing this research study, you're putting this uh, moderator guide together, you're writing down everything that you want to know about, and you're really thinking kind of like very thoroughly about the questions that you want to ask so that the the type of um, questions that you do end up asking, you ask them with confidence and you really truly get at the heart of the matter. Uh, as I mentioned previously, I'm a huge, huge fan of informational interviews, and I would say they are a low-key method and just a low-pressure method of getting information. So if you have the time, I definitely recommend this as the primary way to go. And uh, as I'm kind of mentioning here, there's there's a number of folks that you can talk with, whether it's current employees, uh, the hiring manager, uh, maybe even especially former employees. They all kind of like have different um, pros and cons, I would say. But if you do have the time, if you have that opportunity to to speak to multiple folks and and get a clear answer, uh, definitely kind of recommend you uh, trying a couple of these out and and seeing how things go. And uh, here's some of the questions that you might be able to ask them. Now, I won't go through all of these. Uh, this is meant to be a little bit more of a takeaway, uh, but I do want to highlight like this last question here. Uh, which, um, you know, is there anything you wanted to mention by the NAS you about? And this can be very powerful as it opens up the person that you're talking to to share some interesting information, which you might have not, not otherwise considered even asking for. So keep that in mind. Um, 